I'm so sorry to see that Chris Heaton Harris has decided he's not going to stand at the next general election. Uh, he says 24 years in politics, he won't be standing again. And he says that it's been an honor and privilege to serve. And I'd like to thank the good people of Daventry uh, for putting their trust in him. Uh, I met Chris Heaton Harris uh, round about the time that I called out Nigel Farage and I was slightly amused to find that uh, Chris knew who I was and he was deeply courteous and um, I, I, I think he's a very good man. I also think that given his background in the European Parliament, he was perfectly placed to try to sort out some of the mess created by Boris Johnson and Lord Frost in the uh, speed, in the, in the hurry to get Brexit done, and uh, the failure to sort out the uh, Northern Ireland issues, uh, as equally the failure to sort out a replacement for Dublin 3 and therefore the generation of the small boats. Chris Heaton Harris is a man who I know has got his eye on the ball and uh, as a result he made a spectacularly good chief whip and uh, I, I would certainly have identified him as a very capable pair of hands uh, should he have um, uh, been put forward as a possible candidate to lead the party and lead the country. I think he would have been a much better choice than almost anybody that we've had since David Cameron. In fact, yes, he would have been a much better choice than anybody since David Cameron. Uh, he's a man of honour and integrity, and that is in short supply in the current Conservative Party. I... I, I wish him all the very best, and I'm personally very sorry to see him going, but I'm not at all surprised.